Hey everyone, welcome back. And this, and this is my review of The Legend of Korra, Book 4 Balance, Episode 9. Wow, I did not expect to get something in this episode that I actually got in this episode. We actually got Zaheer back again, conversing with Korra in present time. Gr granted, we did kind of last episode. The last episode was a recap episode, and was played off for comedy, you know. This episode was that was actually advanced the story. And we actually got Zah Zaheer helping Korra so that she could eventually defeat Kuvira. And I know why. It's because... I mean, as I mean, as extreme as much of an extremist as Zaheer was, uh, Kavira is the exact is the exact type of person that Zaheer hates the most. Because I still think that Zaheer was kind of a justifiable villain. Okay, I really do. I think he was kind of a justifiable villain. I think he definitely had good intentions, he good motives. He was just an extremist with it, alright? He went to the ultimate extreme with everything. Kavira. Kavira's purpose in this series, I think, is kind of like on the yin and yang side of things, really, I think. It's kind of showing what Korra could be if she wasn't all just and everything. Okay? If she, if she didn't want... if It's showing the dark side of Korra, basically what Korra could have become. That really is what I think what uh, Kavira's p place in the series is. And obviously that's the exact type of thing that uh, Zaheer hates, okay? So obviously he would actually help her, help Korra out here a little bit. He helped her connect to the spirit world, connect to uh, Rava again, and whatnot so that she could save... Uh, uh, say, save, uh, I for, uh, I for, uh, save, uh, I forget what her name, she, that youngest daughter of, uh, Tenzin, I forget what her name is, and all those other people as well, okay, so really, like, Kavira is being defeated later on in the series is all really mainly thing, or partially thanks to Zaheer, which is actually really cool, I did not expect this at all, but I actually really like it, okay, like, I really do. Other than that, we do get some other stuff in this episode that has to do with Bolin and and the uh, Opal. I'm probably one of the few people that actually really does like that relationship in this series, okay? Because uh, Bolin's really trying to do everything he can to get back together with Opal. And at the end of this episode, he actually agrees to go with her and uh, Lin Bei Fong to save their families, essentially. To, to save uh, Lin's family and to save Opal's family. Uh, which, well, they're, okay, they're the same thing, but still. <laughs> Technically, they're the same thing. Okay, so that's really kind of interesting. So overall, I thought it was a pretty good episode of Korra once again. Okay. Uh, other than, also, I do want to mention, like, I do understand why the Fire Lord, which, is this like the first episode we've actually, actually seen the Fire Lord face-to-face, the current Fire Lord face-to-face? -face? I'm pretty sure it is. But yeah, I, I understand why the Fire Lord, does, Izumi, doesn't want to go straight into war, okay? Because she's absolutely correct. The Fire Nation has had such a history with war, with starting needless wars. Mainly in terms of with Fire Lord Ozai, but I'm pretty sure it go, dates back much further back than even that, okay? And really, Zuko, I think, was the first Fire Lord that really decided to take a different path with the Fire Nation. But they're still earning people's trust. Even though Zuko's not technically the Fire Lord anymore. He's still alive, but he's not the Fire Lord anymore. They're still working their asses off to earn the world's trust back. And so if they just charge in to a war with without it being like a last resort type of thing, like an absolute last resort type of thing, then... They're only going to basically destroy the trust that they've been so long building up and still haven't completed building up yet, okay? And people are just going to be looking at him like, yep, there's the Fire Nation again. They're, st st they're engaging in needless wars again, of course. You know, th that's going to be people's exact reaction. Now, I expect 
At the end, at the end of the series, I do expect the Fire Nation to be involved in the war, but only at a, as an absolutely last resort when everyone else has already been involved in the war. Okay, like all the other nations have already been involved in the war, but something I don't understand is Tenzin, because it's like I understand that the Air Nomads' philosophy is peace. Okay, I do. No conflict under any circumstances, but you have to draw a line somewhere. And with Tenzin, it's like, okay, his daughter has been captured. Um, Opal and his daughter, along with Korra, attacked Kavira without per getting permission first, because they knew they, that they wouldn't be able to get that said permission. And... The way that things have turned out here, you'd think he'd be willing to draw a line somewhere and say, you know what, I'm not going to like it, but we have to help out. Okay, so I don't really understand Tenzin's place here in this, why he's refusing to help them with the war, because really, he has no fucking excuse as far as I'm concerned. Alright, Fire Lord Izumi kind of does. And again, I do expect them, the Fire Nation to be involved in the war by the end of the series, okay, but... Obviously not finishing off Kavira, that obviously has to be a Korra, but still, I still, I just don't understand Tenzin's place here at all, anyway. So, so overall, though, I really did enjoy this episode, aside from that bit of bullshit with Tenzin in this episode, I still really enjoyed it. Tell me your thoughts about this episode in the comment section below. Uh, so yeah, if you've yet seen this week's episode of Korra, then I definitely, definitely recommend that you do. I can't wait until next week's episode airs. The series is... Coming down to the numbers, I'm not exactly sure exactly how long the series is going to be, but probably it's like three or four episodes left, maybe five at the very most. I'm not sure if there's going to be... I think one of the seasons was like 14 episodes. I'm not sure if it's going to be that or if it's going to be like 12 or 13 or what. But def probably like five episodes at the very most, but I'd say like three or four, roughly. Maybe five. So anyways, overall, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.